Welcome to Mtron Training Part 4. In this training tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at working with our dash panels and our Mtune software. We're going to learn how to edit them, how to go and rearrange our dash panels or change the channels or the structuring so that we can make the software a little bit more customized to our liking or our taste for doing our tuning. We're going to have a lot to cover. Let's jump in so we can check this out. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to be taking a look at our dash panel layout within our Mtune software. Our dash panel layout is going to allow us to access certain channels and information that we might want to see in a particular format so that when we're doing a tuning task, we can find out exactly what's going on in real time as we're connected to our Mtron. So this is essentially going to be organizing and displaying your data channels associated with a particular task or function. You can see them front and center to make you more efficient in tuning so you don't miss things. And again, you can perform your ability of the calibration process much quicker. Just makes you a more efficient tuner, more organized tuner, and you're able to spot trends or discrepancies almost immediately as long as you have everything laid out properly. Now, before we jump in and take a look at actually creating custom dash layouts, I do want to mention that Mtron has done an excellent job providing us very, very solid dash layouts that we probably have to edit very minimally. Um, so we cut down on a lot of setup and configuration time compared to other standalone systems that give you very poor layouts to start with. This will definitely make you more efficient right off the bat. And in fact, if you're not comfortable with changing the channels and going in and, and, and altering your dash layout, you don't need to do that. But this video is going to show you how to do that in the event that you get more comfortable with the software and more comfortable with calibrating and tuning you'll know exactly how to perform switching the way that the dash layout is going to work. So let's jump in here and let's talk about our dash layouts. We can see on screen right now, I have my main VE table here. I have my graphical plot of my main VE table. We'll find over here on the right, we have our actual configuration channels list associated with the task that we're working with here. So for example here, main dash, this is showing me all of my pertinent sensor channel data that we have to see for pretty much any engine. We can find right now, this is things associated with your actual fuel delivery. These are things associated with our spark timing of interest. And then these are other sensor dashes or channels that we may or may not want to see as we're finding displayed right here on the side. Now down below, this is going to be displaying similar bits of information, but displaying them in a slightly different format. So for example here, if we're taking a look under fuel main, we're going to find we have down below here, we find these different looks or different versions of data that's going to be found right here on the side, but displayed here in a different format or manner. We have a lot of different options to display our channels, our sensor information, and we're finding here this is just going to be one example of many different layouts or page, uh, page layouts here, dash, dash panels as they're going to be calling them, that we can go in and configure. So let's just quickly look through this. Things in our fuel main are things that we might want to take a look at associated with actual fuel tuning. So for example here, engine speed, something we always want to take a look at. We find we have our map pressure that's showing us what the load input is here to the actual table, assuming we're tuning based with map pressure for the load. We're going to find things like our throttle position or the injector duty cycle, how much usage of the injector we're, we're finding here. We have our engine temperature. We have a cylinder head temperature sensor, which is a little bit uncommon. We have engine oil pressure, ignition angle. Uh, we have our lambda target and lambda sensor looking at the actual lambda measure in our exhaust, the actual uh, air fuel. And then we're going to find here, this is the target that we'd like to run at. And these are going to be the trims associated with our short and long term and our banks here. If we have one or two lambda sensors fitted, we can find that all in information here. We find things related to our ma air mass, so how it's determining what the air mass is going to be. We'll get into this later in future tutorials. And then finally here, this is going to be a runtime value list telling us exactly what's going on at any given time, looking at these different timestamps. It's going to show us uh, what that function was doing and what happened in uh, essentially a, a timestamp format list, giving you the history of what's going on with your Mtron box. So in this particular display layout, this is giving us channels that we may or may not want to see. And again, as we're starting off and looking at fuel tuning main, this is the main fuel, fuel, fuel tuning area or window, we'll find that all these channels here would be relatively useful for doing fuel tuning. Now what's nice about this, before we go in and take a look at how to customize anything in our window down here below, what's nice about this, if I'm switching my task, so if I'm switching from tuning my main fuel table here, let's assume that I'm switching it to doing starting fuel or cranking fuel, so the fuel that we need in order for the engine to fire off and run. 
If we go up here to the top and we go under fuel and we go down here under starting and we go under starting setup here, just for example, this is going to allow us to start. Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you want to see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here and you don't want to miss any of the videos we're going to be releasing on this channel. So make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.